Are these people some of the smartest gold diggers around? Number 8. Brittany Renner Back in 2020, Instagram model Brittany Renner married NBA star PJ Washington, a union between two types of people that goes as well as peanut butter and jelly. But it also seems that professional athletes are a pretty standard target for gold diggers from Instagram. So, was this true love or was this gold digging? Surprise, surprise. Two weeks after having a kid with him, she filed for divorce, allegedly receiving $200,000 in child support every month. That's a truly crazy number, especially for such a short relationship. The two met at a game at the University of Kentucky before his NBA career. Maybe she was acting like a talent scout, making sure that her future husband would make it into the NBA. After the messy breakup, Washington made a bunch of vague tweets that were almost certainly about Britney. He wrote about how he can't stand liars and that you'll always reap what you sow. In 2018, Renner posted a video saying that you'll get a lot of money if you get with an athlete because they're dumb. Her words, not ours. If only someone had shown Washington this video before he ended up marrying her, he could have saved himself a lot of money. Hall of Fame NFL player Deion Sanders, who coaches at Jackson State University, had Renner talk with his players. Renner told them to scrutinize their relationships from this point forward in what was basically a watch out for gold diggers talk. Everybody has a motive. Number 7. Amy Irving Amy Irving is an actress who starred in the original version of Carrie and the Oscar-winning Amadeus. She was going to be in Raiders of the Lost Ark as well, but breaking up with her then-boyfriend Steven Spielberg kind of messed that up. However, they worked out their problems and ended up getting married in 1985. Sadly, their marriage only lasted four years. Spielberg thought he could get out of giving her half his money because they signed a prenup, but this wasn't a normal agreement. Nope, they wrote their prenup on a napkin. The couple signed the napkin, but the judge didn't consider it legally binding. She ended up walking with $100 million in the divorce. In an interview, Irving said she didn't enjoy being married to someone as famous as Spielberg, saying it was like being married to a politician. A few years after divorcing him, she married another director, Bruno Barreto. Their marriage lasted nine years, and then she moved on to her third director husband, Kenneth Bowser Jr. She definitely has a type, and if you're an actress, it can't hurt your career to have your type be famous directors. Number 6. Gabriel Aubrey in 2014, a judge ordered Halle Berry to pay child support to her ex, Canadian model Gabriel Aubrey. She originally had to pay him $16,000 a month, which equals to $192,000 a year. He was basically making as much as a doctor because he broke up with Halle Berry. After some legal negotiation, Aubrey only got $8,000 a month instead. His free money was cut in half, but he was still getting more than most people ever get for their actual job. Barry also had to pay him a retroactive support payment of $85,000. On social media, Barry has described these huge child support payments as extortion. The two of them had what can only be described as a wild breakup. Barry's then fiance, Oliver Martinez, performed a citizen's arrest on Aubrey. He and Barry also got a restraining order that prevented Aubrey from coming within 100 yards of them or their daughter. To get back at them, Aubrey got his own restraining order. The custody battle heated up when, according to Aubrey, Martinez threatened to take his life if Aubrey didn't let him move to France with Barry. Audrey obviously didn't want them to move to France since it would mean seeing his kid less. Hopefully, all of that drama is in the past as Barry is currently with singer Van Hunt. Number 5. Ellen Nordegren Ellen Nordegren's divorce from Tiger Woods in 2009 was a massive media event. Woods admitted to cheating on her after his car accident and publicly announced that he was retiring from golf to focus on his marriage. He must not have focused enough because they still ended up getting divorced. Nordegren's sister, who's a lawyer in Sweden, helped her win $100 million from Tiger. She spent $12 million of that to buy a massive mansion in Florida. After Tiger, Nordegren started dating Chris Klein, a billionaire oil tycoon. He was 22 years older than her, so there were some questions about her intentions. Was she dating him for his good looks and charming personality? We don't know. Unfortunately, Klein died in a helicopter crash in 2019. Nordegren's next man was NFL player Jordan Cameron. Number 4. Kim Kardashian 
Clearly, Kim is mega rich today, but that wasn't always the case. Back in May 2011, Kim Kardashian got engaged to NBA player Chris Humphreys. He was playing for the Nets at the time, and they'd been dating since October 2010. They got married on August 20th. Ever the savvy businesswoman, Kim released a wedding-themed perfume called Kim Kardashian Love at the same time. The wedding was also accompanied by a two-part TV special all about the preparation and the actual ceremony itself. Most people lose money on their wedding, but Kim profited off the whole thing. After just 72 days of marriage, Kim filed for divorce, claiming they simply had their differences. What were these differences that she didn't notice 72 days prior? The world may never know. Many people at the time said that the whole thing was a publicity stunt to promote the Kardashian brand and reality show. If that was the case, then it worked. A man who claimed to be Kim's former publicist, Jonathan Jackson, supported the theory that it was all for publicity. His name, like Kardashian's, has alliteration, so maybe he's telling the truth. He came out and said that the whole thing was staged and was just for money. Kim responded by filing a lawsuit against him and saying he was lying. They settled the case and Jackson publicly apologized. But that doesn't necessarily mean he wasn't telling the truth. After the 72-day marriage, a petition circulated around the internet trying to remove all Kardashian-related programming from the airwaves. It didn't work, although we're sure some people wish it had. Number 3. Crystal Harris In January of 2009, Crystal Harris began dating someone who was 60 years older than her, Mr. Playboy himself, Hugh Hefner. He was 83 at the time, and she was only 23. When she was born in 1986, he was already a 60-year-old man. Was this gold digging at its finest? Crystal was Hefner's third wife, but she almost wasn't his wife at all. Just five days before their planned wedding, she suddenly and unexpectedly broke off the engagement. But they ended up working it out and got married anyway. It would have been awkward if they hadn't gotten married since that month's issue of Playboy had the headline, Introducing Mrs. Crystal Hefner. The two remained married until Hefner died in 2017. Crystal wasn't in Hugh Hefner's will, and they had a prenup which meant she was unlikely to get anything if they had divorced. But because they were married at the time of his death, she was still entitled to a pretty big payout. She got $7 million and inherited a $5 million house in Hollywood Hills that he had left in a trust for her. The rest of his $45 million fortune was split between his kids and different charities. Crystal has always maintained in interviews that she married Hefner because they were in love and money had nothing to do with it. The public has been understandably skeptical of this version of their relationship. Number 2. Oriane Sive Oriane Sive and her ex-husband Phil Collins have not had the most graceful divorce. They were married from 1999 to 2006. Then they got back together from 2016 to 2019. Then they broke up again. It's been a roller coaster, and their latest legal battle is over their Miami mansion. Phil Collins attempted to have Sive kicked out of the mansion in 2020 after he discovered that she had secretly remarried and moved her new husband into the mansion. Understandably, Collins didn't want a strange man living in his house. She argued that since she had lived there for six years, it was just as much her house as it is his, even though he's the one who actually bought it. Sive refused to leave and claimed that she was entitled to half of the mansion's value under a verbal cohabitation agreement. Unlike written agreements, these sorts of verbal agreements can be a lot trickier to verify. In her official filings with the court, Sive included a variety of insults aimed at Collins, including remarks about his hygiene and performance in the bedroom. However, a judge ordered her comments removed from the record. Besides, social media is a better place for that sort of thing not official legal documents. Phil Collins paid Sive $47 million in their official divorce settlement, but this must not have been enough, seeing as how she's after the mansion as well. However, she's not in desperate need of a house. She already has her own $5.5 million property in Fort Lauderdale. It has six bedrooms, a pool, a spa, a home theater, and a dock that's so big you can park a 90-foot yacht right by the house. Her new man, Tom Bates, has worried that his own musical career will live forever in Collins' shadow. Bates said that he's actually a lifelong Collins fan and has nothing but respect for him. Collins fans may not necessarily share this love, however. The two of them didn't stay married for long. They got divorced in 2020. Sive blamed the pandemic, claiming the emotional stress of quarantine caused her to act out of character. Number 1. 
Evelyn Lozada. In a radio interview, former NBA player Antoine Walker claimed that his longtime girlfriend, Evelyn Lozada, wasn't what the public thought she was. Lozada, a star on the reality show Basketball Wives, benefited from his NBA career. She and her family got plenty of perks because she was dating someone who made $100 million playing basketball. But, according to Walker, when he lost all his money in the 2008 financial crash, she broke up with him. He realized she might not have been dating him for his charming personality. They started dating in 1999, and she became famous in her own right by being on Basketball Wives. After this interview came out, Lazada said that she wasn't just dating him for the money. On Twitter, she said that he needed to move on and that she broke up with him because he was cheating. However, her romantic life after Walker does seem to indicate that she has a type, that type being rich athletes. She was married to NFL star Chad Johnson, aka Chad Ochocinco, for less than one year. They were together from July 2012 to September 2012. After that, she moved on to her third sport when she began dating baseball player Carl Crawford in 2013. In December of 2013, they announced that they were getting engaged and had a son together the following year. But then, in 2017, they ended up calling off the engagement. Click to watch one of these next videos and let us know in the comments section who you think should have made it on this list. Or better yet, let us know if someone on this countdown shouldn't have been on here.